Probably. Okay. First order of business. Can anyone hear me and see me fine? Wait for some people to begin rolling in. Um, let me. Let's see. Got one participant so far. One liker. All right. All right. Just just doing some testing in the chat to make sure that it's working correctly. So, if you want to. To those who are watching ahead of time, um, you can skip this part. And uh, okay, um, do you have any choice here? Um, all right, uh, Divinity, uh, can uh, can you hear me? Just make sure I'm doing this correctly. Can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear. Um, okay, six. Okay. Hey everybody, TBS here, and today, as you see in the title, I am going to be opening two of these giant boxes that VHS Fan sent me, our VHS Opening 2003 Productions on YouTube. If you're watching this, I really appreciate you taking the time to cure, to put these care packages together for me, and it's, it's been a great, um, what, seven years, I want to say, getting to know you, and... Yeah, I mean, he sent me these two giant packages, as I guess I'll call them early Christmas gifts, but they weren't really meant for Christmas, but what the hell, it's Christmas, it's, the holidays are coming up, so, yes, um, I guess I'll quit rambling, and I'm gonna open them all up, sorry, this big box right here, ah, look at that, <laughs> look at that, look at how big that thing is, it's, I'm like struggling to carry this. Luckily, I blocked off all the shipping information, so I should be just fine. Okay. Let's see. I might repurpose these boxes for myself with eBay or something. So, let's see. I actually don't know what's even in here, to be honest with you. Let's just see what, what we all got before I go crazy. Okay. Oh man, they packed this really well. Uh, let's see, let's see. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so this is kind of exciting to see. Uh, I really do. Oh, here we go. Box is open. And with all that beautiful, beautiful shredded, shredded cardboard paper, my goodness. Look at all that. That is so much. It's like the XP Star 214 dude going like, this is your nightmare, every time he shreds a movie or something. So, let's see. Oh. All right, so that is the protective box. And inside here is another box. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't want to make too much of a mess in here because I don't want to clean all this up. Oh, my God. This is... Oh my god, it's dusty! Man! Whew! Ah, man, even, even when I take the actual box out, it's still heavy. Hang on, I gotta clean all this crap up. Hang on one second. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So, here is the actual box. Oh my god, this is like that. <laughs> Dude, what did you all pack in here? I'm serious. Whew, let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> he packed these really good. I mean, I'll give him this. He he definitely knows how to package these firsthand. It's like almost second nature to him, I'd say, because this is just so tightly packed and so well taken care of. Which is inevitable if you're shipping with, I, I guess you ship this with media mail. I'll get to all you guys' chats in one moment. Let's, oh, look at a note in here. Is this a note? Oh, it's, 
Alright. Let's see. Whew. Okay. Box is open, and let's get started, shall we? Whew. First one out of the box is some kind of hero from Paramount Home Video, the Paramount flat box or gatefold release. This was originally purchased from Sabres for 99 cents. It might have come from his might have come from his own Sabres. I don't know. Here it is. 25th week of 1982. Okay, film strip is a bit of a cut right there. Don't know what that's all about, but it's an 80s tape. What more can you expect? Oh, wow, there's some vinyl stickers coming out, too. Bye-bye. Let's see, let's see. Next one's a caseless tape. This one is admittedly not in the best condition, but this is Friday the 13th, Part 4, the final chapter. 40th week of 1984. I think the lid might have been replaced on this one. Or was it replaced? Because the it, it moves very, very freely. He can correct me if he's uh, ooh. I don't know if any, I don't know if he caught this, but I noticed some mold on this one. Hmm. I might have to take a look at that. Hmm. Doesn't smell moldy, so that's good. Next one I got is Shenandoah, MCA Video Cassette Inc. There's a print underneath there, but I'm going to check that at another time. Because I want to get through these as quick as I can, because i got to work in a little bit. But it should be before... I get this video done. Okay, so this is a nostalgia merchant tape of Willibur's Travels of 1939. I believe this is the second ever feature length animated film predating uh, Pinocchio by a year. Got the sticker there, don't know if that means anything. I'm just going to some stacks here because it'll make things easier for me. Got a Hansel and Gretel tape from Media Home Entertainment. This one is from... But does it say this one came out? I mean, I know the tape came out in 1981, but the movie itself... All I can say is that if anybody, if anybody can identify the post... From, excuse me. If anybody can identify what version this is from the poster, let me know down in the chat stream or in the comments. Depending on how you're watching this, it's got a very cool looking red label. Oh, is that hmm, it's got some mold here too. I'm about to put that off to the clean pile. Oh dear, the box is dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there, there you go. It's dirty on the inside. Hmm. I might have to put that in the clean pile. So that is going with Friday the 13th, part four. Yeah, that is going to get cleaned. Let's see. Let's see. This one is the bounty with Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins and Lawrence Olivier. Let's see. Okay, this one looks good. All right, this one's a keeper. Gorky Park. Trying to grow my collection of restaurants a little more. Oh, this one's a little bit crinkled at the beginning, but shouldn't be too bad. There's a red circular screw on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Hmm. 
Let's see, let's see. Oh, Pumping Iron 2, the women. Please return to the video loft, Pioneer Plaza. This one is October 7th, 1985. Okay, that one looks pretty clean. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna hit up the stash real quick. Okay, okay, um, let's move it on here. A movie I've been trying to hunt down for a while, actually. Paper Moon. Case is not in the best condition. I think, I don't, I don't know if that's how it, this originally came, but it's cut down there. And the top is gone, too. Oh, it is. Wait a second. Hmm. Okay, this wasn't this wasn't the original the original flat box release or gateful release, but oh dear, this one's got mold on it too. Oh dear. 20, 20, um, 28th week of nineteen eighty five. Oh dear. Hmm. All right. Well, this is going to get put in a clean pile. So two Paramount ones to clean up. Oh dear. The the case of this one is dying, and this is. Hanover Street from Columbia Pictures Home Video Entertainment. Excuse me. Oh man, the oh the sh okay. There's why the bottom is chopped off, and the and the tape here is like has come undone. And yeah, this this case is like dying. Mm. Tape looks pretty healthy though, considering how old it is. Yeah, it looks fine. Hmm. I might toss this case, but for right now, I have it. You know, some of these I don't know. Yeah, some of these I might put up on eBay at some point, but other times I'm I might. Some of these I'm, I'm a lot of these I intend to keep, but some of these I might put up on eBay in the future. We'll see. This one is yellow. Um, July 31st, 1985. This one doesn't have a circular screw like Gorky Park, so that's good. Oh, okay, we've got an MCA tape. Brewster's Millions, starring Richard Pryor. Produced by Lawrence Gordon and Jill Silver. This one is October 7th, 1985. Oh, wow. Same print date as... Was it Pumping Iron 2 that I went over to have the same print date? I'll have to look again. Still need to check the print date for Shenandoah, though. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. The Odd Couple. Another original gateful release. From 1980. But I think the tape originally came out in 1979. This is like a reissue. Yeah, it says right here in 1979 on the label. Oh, it's an even later print than that. 21st week of 1985. Should work just fine. It's in really good condition, too. So, kudos to whoever previously owned this before VHS fan did. Okay, this one is the original print of Valley Girl, the first movie with Nicolas Cage, or at least one of the first. Oh, well, well the label's gone, but this is still the right movie, luckily. It says Valley Girls, not Valley Girl. Don't know what that's about, but ooh, it's a little, it's a little bit dusty, but... Yeah, the label on this one is completely gone. Uh, oh, 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 lordy. Yep, I am going to have to clean this one up. <laughs> That's going in the clean pile. Night of the Juggler. 
Another media tape. This one looks like it was originally a media flat box, but the bottom was ripped off. I also bought from Sabres originally. Oh, well, well, there you go. It's got these shiny silver labels. All right, this one looks this one looks fine. Oh, okay, we got a magnetic tape here. Now Voyager. So, by my calculations, this is a 20th Century Fox owned release of a United Artists print of a Warner Brothers movie. Okay, that one looks that one looks great. Yeah, this one's definitely a keeper. Oh, here's a rare one. This is actually one that I've I've been looking for for a while, and that is Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. So not only is this the original flat box release or gatefold, call it whatever you want. Um, it opens from the back and not the front. Isn't that crazy? I so really like the uh, design they went for here. Look, it's all green and it's red, much like Christmas. <laughs> wow. Okay, this one's got. A week in year code back here, 46 week in 1982. I don't know if that's like mold or if it's, I don't know if the camera can pick it up very well, but I don't know if that's like a mold or if that's like just dust on the reels or something, but doesn't, okay, this looks fine. So hmm. I might put that in the clean pile for now just to make, just to be safe, but. Yeah, this is still a very rare tape. I'm very happy to have it now. This was part of the Goodwill. One dollar. Damn, what a seal. Okay, here's the MCA video exiting tape of Midway here. Except this is a... MCA home video reprint from what I can see. Um, is there a print date on this one, or is it just no print date at all? I don't, I don't see a week in year code or anywhere like or anything. Yeah, no week in year code. And I, um, I'm gonna go check under the end label this one. Let's see. Okay, so there is a print date. April 7th, 1986. Hmm. This could have a black screen of death at the end. Oh, ooh. Here's a rare, here's another rare one. The original Sony Video Services tape of The Hobbit from 1978. Was it 77 or 78? No, it's 77. Okay. Ooh, look at how orange those reels got I've gotten. My goodness. Hey, look, I look like short circuit now. <laughs> August 22nd, 1986. Let's see. Okay, this other than the dying reels, the like the coloring is pretty much all orange now. This one looks to be a keeper. Yeah, okay, this one looks pretty good. That is a definite keeper. Uh, this one's another Sabres purchase as well, Harry and Son. Oh, there's a print date on the lid right here, July 21st, 1984. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this one this one's a keeper for, for sure. Let's see. Another one from here is Heidi. From 1979. Not to be confused with the, with the Disney movie or the Shirley Temple film from Fox. This one's also from 99 So, Excuse me. Sabres for 99 cents. Oh my gosh. We're almost 20 minutes into this video. I actually might have to...
cut the stream and do another one because we have a whole other box to get to go through. We'll see how that goes. This one is from Vin America. Hey, Abbott. 1982. This is bought at a Goodwill for a dollar again. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that label. Hmm. All right. Well, there's Hey Abbott. Not much to say here. Hey, some of these don't even know what the hell these are, but I took them because they looked at least kind of interesting. And um, Oh, here's one I've been trying to hunt down for a while. My Science Project. Oh, yeah, this is one that, it's a cult film that doesn't really get a lot of love, but nevertheless, I'm very happy that I picked this one out. This is a very hard-to-find movie. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how rare the Blu-ray, did this one get a Blu-ray? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it got a Blu-ray, but nevertheless, this is one of the very first touchstone movies ever made, and... Oh, it's fully rewound, too. Mm, it's dusty. But... Is that bold on this one? Hmm. I don't know if that's, like, mold or if that's, uh, just dust from the dust on the reels or what, but... Hmm. Oh, just to make sure that this comes out nice, I'm gonna put that in the clean pile, too. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we are we don't have a whole lot left to go through in this box, so this should go by kind of quick. Under Fire. A Lionsgate film, not to be confused with Lionsgate today. This is actually from Orion. This was a pretty good shape for its age. This one is Liana. Another restaurant. Yeah, I got, I got quite a few restaurants today. And this one has like basically nothing to know on the label except for the runtime and copyright information. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit dirty, but it should work just... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, Lord, no. Yep, that is definitely going to clean file. Now, this one I might keep, but I don't know yet. Another th a Three Studios RCA Columbia tape. This is volume three. The bottom's ripped off. Let's see. Hmm. End label is falling off on this one. Uh, I don't, oh, well, there's a week in year cut all the way back here, but it's like 45th week in 1984. Oh, it's dirty. Yeah, it's dirty. Okay, yeah, I don't see any more than this one, but hmm. I think I'll put this one up on eBay. We'll see. We'll see. The next one up is Falling in Love with Rob De Niro and Mel Streep and Diane West. I'm reading it from the back here. Sale price of this was 1995. Wait, or, yeah, 1995. This one looks pretty good to me as well. It's 20th week of 1985. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Aha! Original print of Footloose. 
they really have to show that this costs only one dollar, even on the tape on the side here. This one is the see in the back. Uh, yeah, I do not know if you can pick that up, but there is a we can go back here. The 38th week of 1984, I think that says. Okay, this one this one looks good to me too. The other side of the fountain. Once in your life, you may love someone. Someone may love you like this. Hmm. December eighteenth, nineteen eighty-five. Okay, that one looks good. Aha! The original print of the woman in red. And the label fell off. Lovely. Print date is November 8th, 1985. Okay, this one looks good to me too. Oh, hey, speaking of Footloose, here's Flash Dance. Also the original print. <laughs> Rest in pieces to this end label. My goodness. <laughs> ah, here it is. 30, 34th week in 1983. Is that a... Hang on. I'm going to see if you can pick this up on camera, but... Is that... Hang on. Hold on one second. Uh, here, here we go. That looks like a splice job. The camera can pick it up, but it doesn't look like authentic tape to me. Like, it looks like somebody spliced it. But I'll, to, I'll pop it in and see. Put that in that in the key pile. Missing. June 4th, 1982. Dusty. Oh, hang on a sec, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry I had to see my messy bed, but it's whatever. As I was saying, this is the print on June 4th, 1982, and this looks fine. Nothing to complain about here. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I don't have a whole lot in this box left. Just uh, let me count. Twenty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine tapes. Twenty-nine tapes. Twenty-nine tapes. Twenty-nine tapes. Excluding this one. The original print to kill a mockingbird, but this time this is actually the 100% original print because this is printed in the 36th week of 1981. This one is the Kane Mutiny from RCA Columbia. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast. I trying to get this done as quick as I can because as, as I said I gotta work a little bit um 36 week of 1986 just some dying labels uh, oh yeah there's a print date down here too August 28th 1986 everything else looks fine it's just that the labels are in poor shape like the glue has come undone on some of these okay well that's a keeper Ooh, nice. Coogan's Bluff. Clint Eastwood. I've been wanting to check this movie out for a while. 
Uh, look, they were generous enough to put the print date there. It's June, no, excuse me, March 8th, 1986. God. Oh, what the hell? Did someone have to replace the reels on this one? Because, yeah, one's perfectly white, and the other one is orange. Somebody screwed up this dentist appointment. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we got another magnetic tape here. This is Rebecca. Directed by Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, yeah, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Except this is a CBS Fox reprint. I'll have to I might have to go check and see if this has the magnetic Oh dear, this one's got more than a two. As I was saying, this is, I was going to check to see what logo this had at the beginning, but I got to go clean this first. Davy Crockett in the River Pirates. So we finally get a Disney one here. Whopper's date is December the 12th, 2000, so it will have been 23 years in eight days since this was purchased from Blockbuster. November 25th, 1986. Some heavy stick residue on this one, but the tape the tape appears to be fine. It doesn't look like there's any mold. Up next is Daryl. D-A-R-Y-L. Hmm. This one's in a bit of rough shape. 85. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord, no. Nope. Not fucking with that. I'm getting another copy of Daryl. That's going straight to the bin. Anyways. Death Wish. Not the original Gateful release, unfortunately, but this is still... Okay, Bopper's Day is April 27th, 1998. Still is the 80s tape. 43rd week of 1985. It's a little bit damaged there. Okay. I'm getting... I'm getting... <laughs> Look at this. I got the Max Headroom tape. <laughs> yes. I've got the Max Headroom tape. The original story. I hope nobody hijacks your stream tonight. Leave Steven Spielberg special effects looking hopeless, hopelessly old fashioned. Oh, wow, it opens up, too. Look at that. Whoa! I did not know this opened up like a book. Do, do any other Kingdom Lover tapes have that? Oh, this, looks, this looks minty fresh. Okay, well, Max Hedger's a keeper. Oh, here we go. This is the 1979 Dracula film from MCA Vegas at Inc. Once again. This case is like dying. Like, look at how faded that looks. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like, oh, yeah, yeah there you go. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, this shit's dirty. Oh, not again. This is going to be a whole compilation video of Tom reacting to moldy tapes. Yeah. That's going into the clean pile. Oh, okay. There's, here's the King of the Wild Frontier in this style. Same style as the River Pirates. All right. 
August 20th, 1986. All right. I'm going to take the rest of the shrink wrap off. It off like it was nothing. Ah, there's another Sabres purchase. Cat people! Oh, wow. It's the original print, too. Okay, there's a print underneath there. I'm going to try and check it real quick. And like I said, I'll check on Shenandoah soon. July 29th, 1982 for this one. All right, well, this one's a win. Definitely a keeper. The original Karate Kid tape. Some heavy shelf wear on this one, but it's an 80s tape. What more can you expect? Hmm. Contains quite, contains a bit of mold on this one, but shouldn't be too bad. 48th week of 1986. I am going to put that off to the side just in case. Okay, we got a 90s tape in here. Well, actually, no, this is from 2000. The Spanish copy of Runaway Bride, the special edition. Or edition especial. I am going to try to read this in Spanish real quick. Preparase para en la mus una vez más de, de Robert y Gere. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this one is subtitled. 44th week of 2000. Okay, no complaints here. Minty, minty, minty fresh. Okay, this one doesn't have a case either. Okay, this is another one from the 90s. A Spanish sub Spanish tape of Outbreak with a print date sticker. Um, January 4th, 1997. Oh, it's cracked back here. It's a little bit cracked, but should work fine. Hmm. This should work just fine. All right, all right. Okay, let's see. Intolerable Cruelty, Demo Tape. Forty eighth week of two thousand three. Oh, guys, I struck some gold. My first Australian tape, and on top of that, this is a demo tape. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it just approved for this is an Australian tape. Damn. Oh, no, the, the lens popped off. Whoa. Still, though, this is... Oh, that's a keeper, 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 keeper. No questions asked. No questions asked. All right, we got Evita, an Italian import of Evita, to be exact. I could tell it's from Italy because of this thing. I'm hoping to get a working PAL VCR soon. The other one, kind of, the one I currently have, kind of crapped out on me. Let's see, let's see. Okay, we got another Italian tape. This time it's of Broken Arrow. Whoa! This tape texture is bizarre. Look at that. Whoa! I had no idea Italy did this type of tape shell. My goodness. Yeah, it's upside down for some reason. 
Okay, well, this one is a definite keeper. I'm going to a copy of Top Gun right here. What's this? Oh, I see. Oh, this is subtitled in Spanish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a reprint, too. 53rd week of 2000. All right. And, uh... Assuming this is... Yeah, this is a French-Canadian tape of blue. Part of the Three Colors trilogy. Oh, it's a little bit dusty, but... Sure, we're just fine. All right, we only got like one. We only got ten more tapes in here. Yeah, I think I might have to. Yeah, cut the stream here and open up the other box in a different video. All right, this one is Gremlins, the original print of Gremlins. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. October 25th, 1985, I think that says. Yeah, this... Oh, lordy. Yeah, there's more on this one, too. Yeah, Top Gun is subtitled in Spanish. Okay. Got uh, a copy of Out of Time here. Also in Spanish. Huh. Yeah, it's subtitled. Okay. Oh, not again. <laughs> Ugh, Lord, no. December 13, 2003. I hope this one cleans off just because this is nasty. Wait. Wait, let me check around one. Wait. Oh, yeah, this is the... Oh, wow. Yeah, no, no. You're not kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Gremlins is also in, Sp in Spanish. Subtitle, too. Yeah, this is this needs cleaning, too. Ugh. Oh, hey, another Spanish one. Subtitled again. Rules of Engagement. Or Reglas of Combate. De Combate. I know a little bit of Spanish. I'm judging too harshly. Let's see. 39th week of 2000. Let's see. Okay, that one that one looks clean. Perfectly clean. Okay, this is Undercover Blues. Yeah, I guess we're going to get a couple... Sp yeah, we're going to get some Spanish tapes in here. Subtitled. July 7, 2001. All right, here we go. We're gonna get. We're gonna finish this box with some Spanish tapes. I'm seeing here. Love potion number nine. Selections. Okay. June twelfth, two thousand and one. Okay, we got another Paramount. Is this unit special tape? Shaft. Oh, hang on. All right. 37th week of 2001. All right. All right, got another Paramount Spanish tape here. Sleepy Hollow. Whoa! I didn't know this had a Spanish subtitle on the title. Hmm. 20th week of 2000. Or is that just the 
Spanish Spanish title that's translated from the English title. All right, three tapes left in this box. Let's get them all out. Jack asked the movie. Once again, subtitled in Spanish. Tenth week of two thousand three. All right. Okay, this one is another French name tape. This is also part of the color trilogy. Red or rouge. Let's take this shrink wrap off. Oh, I might want to save that. Oh my god, this thing has lost all the stickiness to it. This is crazy. <sighs> Again, another interesting looking tape shell. Look at that. All right. All we need to get now is white in this form. And the last tape in this box. Ugh. The Mummy. I got this one. I actually had this one before, but now I have it back in the collection. La Mama, La, la Mamia, 36 week of 1999. All right, well, yeah, I'm looking at the runtime here, and yeah, I should probably cut this and do a second part because I'm actually going to need to work soon, and I have, yeah, I, this, took a, this took a bit longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I, I have... Mostly, nearly a good chunk of these I'm going to keep, uh, for sure. This one I'm thinking I'm going to put up on eBay, and, yeah. Daryl is borderline trash. This can see, yeah. Looks, no, it looks like it's so sticky. I've had to deal with tapes that have done that, and they've completely just messed up the picture of my VCR. And, yeah, this is a, uh, Oh uh, yeah, this is this, this is the only one that's, that's borderline trash right now. But um, yeah, those three big stacks I'm gonna keep. Um, this is the stack I am gonna try to clean because hopefully these don't break on me or snap on me or anything else that might affect my VCR. Um, yeah, I'll end it here and. Whenever I have the time, I'm going to open up that second box. Uh, stay tuned for that. And, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys have any questions and comments or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch you in the next part. <sighs> All right. Let's do this how I normally would. Looks like the microphone is working. Um, I know you can see me just fine, but I want to make sure before I get started or continue this, if you can hear me and see me just fine. Let's see. I'll let them know that I'm streaming now. Okay. All right. Um, oh, hey, yes. I, John, I saw your update video. I, I had no idea that's what you were. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that you were actually a YouTuber at first, and then I saw your review on eBay. Yeah, no, th thank you for buying from me, and I really appreciate you, your kind words. It's very, it means a lot to me. Okay, one second, me. Okay, okay, so I think we should get started. Um, okay, so quick update. Um, 
I tossed Daryl because it was completely damaged. It was like there was no sieve in it. And Dracula, unfortunately, broke while I was trying to put the bolt off it. I tried the end first, then, of course, it just completely snapped off the reel. And I still got to clean all of this crap here. So, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try to fix it. And, but if this, this thing's beyond repair, this thing is going to go straight to the fucking trash. Pardon my French. <clears throat> so, let's rip through this second box here. But the first thing I saw when I saw it at my doorstep was this. Yeah, looks like USPS or whoever. Yeah, it was USPS. Toy with this a little bit too much, but I suppose that's why he packed this in a... Put this box in another box with some tissue paper. No, 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 no. Wait, actually, shredded cardboard. Oh, my gosh, it's all falling out. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We're opening this up now. I'm about to do it off camera because this thing is way too heavy for me to do it on my lap. So, I, yeah, again, once again, I actually do not really remember what, what's in here. So this is going to be all interesting to see for me. Oh, God damn it. I ripped some of the box. Oh, well, it's already damaged. So what does it matter? <clears throat> I'm gonna get this. Ugh. All right. So let me just move this out of the way. There we go. All sorts of beautiful shredded cardboard in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna go all over the place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to watch me struggle for about let's say three minutes, hopefully. Oh god. Oh my god, this is there's so much shit of carpet on here. It's already it's going everywhere. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Mmm. Dusty. Whew. Oh my god, that is so dusty. <laughs> the camera can't pick it up, but there's like all sorts of. Oh my god, my. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, the box that actually contains the movies inside. This is actually a lot heavier than the previous one I read through. So let's see what's in here. I have to clean all this shit up. Oh, God. Um, let's see. Yeah, like I said, you have to deal with me. Deal with me doing these mostly off camera because this is. I'll give you just a minute this. This is very well protected. He was not messing around with this one. I'm about to take a few notes from the I saw on eBay. Um, yeah, uh, another thing before I get started. Um, back to the previous video. Um, hold on. Let me just get this up. I did actually off camera clean um, Liliana, Karate Kid. And Rebecca Gremlin Spanish subtitled and Out of Time Spanish subtitled. And now those work just fine. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let's get this. All right. All right, well, this paper's all ruined. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry about the wait, fellas. Um, six minutes in. Let's get started, shall we? First one out of the box is 
Um, it's a complex world from Hemdale Home Video. It's a demo tape. Um, I just see a print date on this one. Hmm. I mean, it's got these like red printings right here, but I don't think that means it's. I don't think that indicates any print date. If anybody, if anybody knows what that says, then that's what that says. All right, looks good to me. Uh, I'll put this off here. Um. Okay. Demo tape of instinct. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna hit this text real quick. August 18th, 1999. Oh, um, it looks like there's mold on it, but I think that could be just dust from the reels. So I think that one should work. It's a little dirty, but it looks fine to me, though. So I think I'll just put that in there. All right. Up next is a demo tape of a simple plan. Oh man, I got I got all this cardboard around me. Okay. May tenth, nineteen ninety nine, and the twentieth week of nineteen ninety nine. All right. Well, this one's a definite keeper. Still need to watch that movie too. Um, one with my Anthony Michael Hall, The Adventures of a No Name Norm from Polygram Video. Oh, it's directed by Stan Winston. Wow. I had no idea. Oh no, there's more on this one too. Uh, There's no print date, though, but that is going in the clean pile. Oh, this one also opens up like a look. 96% of kids rated it excellent. All right, well, I am going to have to put that in the clean pile. Oh, yeah, uh, real quick before I continue. I'm going to put these three up on eBay. I don't really need these. I just bought them out of his hands for the heck of it. But yeah, this one is going to be put in the cleanup pile. A demo tape of Along Came Polly. Yeah, I think I think all these are demo tapes. Oh, is that more on this one too? Oh wait, no, it could be just like um, insane. It just had dust on it because the the film doesn't look like it's moldy. Ninth week of two thousand four. Demo tape of bogus. You gotta love how they say that the they have a diff a different release date for the laser disc. November twentieth, nineteen ninety six. Ooh, it's not moldy, but it's got some dirt on the clear part. I hmm, wonder what that's about. <clears throat> Next, got a demo tape of Blue Collar Comedy Tour Rides Again. Forty third week of two thousand and four. All right, that looks clean. Not really much else to say here. All right, next one is a all right, demo tape from Turner Home Entertainment. That is Broken Trust with Tom Selleck. I like getting a hold of these Turner tapes. I think they look pretty cool. Um, August 14th, 1995, I think that says, yeah. All right, looks clean.
Oh, oh, here's one. Demo tape of Bullets Over Broadway. For some reason, advertises the Broadway Beauty and the Beast play on here, even though this movie's rated R. What does that say? Plus, all entrance with an embroidered, embroidered shirt. Five grand prize weekend getaway trips to two to New York City to see Beating the Beast on Broadway. Hmm. December 28th, 1994. All right. Let's get here. Oh, here we go. Got a free consideration tape of one of my favorite animated movies. Isn't that cool? Let's see. Best picture, best actor, best actress, best supporting actor. Yes. Yes. Harry Connick Jr., baby. Ah, oh, man. It's got bold. Ugh. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll clean it. December 6th and December 27th, 1989. It's got bold on it. All right, well, that is going to clean up. I'm definitely keeping the tape. I just need to clean it now. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, man. All right. Um, all right. Okay, if looks could kill. Yeah, I think, like, some of these are moldy because they have been stored in a basement or something. I think that's why some of them didn't really... Yeah, this one's got a little bit of mold on it, too. Um, let's see. May 23rd and May 24th, 1991. Yeah, I'm a little heartbroken at the Iron Giants moldy, but again, I'll try to clean it and see what I can do. I got a demo tape of... No, Academy Screener tape of Bounce. All right, this one looks clean. Oh, it's a week in year code, actually. Huh. 51st week of 2000. Interesting. Hi, right, check this out. Hey, Donut Smasher, I know you're in the chat. I have it now, too. Yes, there's no more on this one. Yes. Eighth week of 1999 for this one. <laughs> and it comes with this, which I think was put in by VHS fan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep, I now have it. All right, got a... Gotta... Demo tape of Batman, but it's really the Columbus of Diet Coke version. I don't mean think this is actually a demo tape, but you get what I'm saying. It's got the end label here. Oh, this one actually has something underneath a sticker label, too. 30, 43rd week in 1989, but it's printing like 439 for some reason. I actually had this one before, but I so I sold that one off. Now I have it again. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. This one is Face Down from Paramount, but this is actually a Showtime movie. No print of Visual Week in Year Code. Eighth Week in 1998 for this one. <clears throat> yeah, some of these are, like, like I said in the last video, some of these I don't really know what the hell these are, but they look cool. So I just decided to pick them out for the heck of it. All right, we got a demo tape of Forever Young. Um, let's see here. April 13th and April 16th, 1993. 
<clears throat> got duets here. Duets. Oh, psychotape. Um, February 16, 2001. Let me check what was underneath this one. Should have an easier time doing that because he already did it for me. Um, hmm. Looks like, okay, yeah, I can see it. This is a cycle from the English patient. Interesting. I uh, got a demo tape of Duplex. Oh, this one doesn't have a dark sugar label. November 4th to November 6th, 2003. It's a little bit damaged on the tip of the film strip, but it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I thought I saw a mold on that, but thankfully there's not. Okay, let's see. Got a demo tape. Oh, no, an FYC tape of The Deep End. Never actually seen this movie, so let's see what this was actually worthy of. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor, Best Cinematography, Best Art Direction, Best Original Score, and Best Film Editing. October 25th and October 30th, 2001. So the second print date is the day before Halloween that year. I got um, an SVS Triumph preview tape of a movie called Eminent Domain. Again, I have no idea what the hell this movie actually is, but uh, a lot of the things I get are blind buys anyway, so what can you say? Oh, this one's got a little bit of mold on it, too. No print date, though. Yep, so that, that's going to go in the clean pile. Oh, good. Uh, put it back this way. Wait, I think I already... Wait, one second. I think I already have this one I'm about to show. Let me check real quick. Okay, no, actually, that's a uh, 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 correction. I, I do not. This is in the FYC tape of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I believe this is subtitled. Fifty second week of 2000. Yeah, I think this is subtitled. I'll pop this in to make sure that I'm getting that right, but... Yeah, it's still pretty cool to see an FYC tape of a foreign movie in here. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. This is the Flintstones in uh, Christmas, Bedro Christmas in Bedrock and the town that Santa forgot. Interesting. Actually, it might look like something that might be worth something. No, okay, there is a print date. Um, June 21st, 1996. Hmm. It's a little damaged down there, but it doesn't look, looks kind of typical at this point. Wait, which way does this go? Okay, so this goes in the front, this is the back. Got it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, the case of this one had to be cut up because of mold. This is a demo tape of Tommy Boy. Let's see. Oh, the tape's not too boy. I mean, there's a little bit, but it looks okay. 29th of I might have to throw away this case, but for right now, I'll keep it in here. Because, again, it's been, it got cut due to the amount of mold that was in it, according to VHS fan. But, yeah, I'll just put that in the clean pile. Oh, okay. Uh, here's a demo tape of, FYC tape of Spider-Man. This might be one of the rare ones in here. Let's see. Hey, this is perfectly clean. Yay. 
September 11, 2002, November 11, 2002. Not bad, not bad. All right. Moving forward here. Got the last word from Vidmark. Oh wait, no, that that that's just dust. I could see it's not like actually on the film, it's just dust. August 21st, 1995. Okay, yeah, this one this one looks fine. All right, let's see here. We got a demo tape of Leave It to Beaver. Oh no. Oh, Lord, no. 46 week in 1997. Yep. Can I clean that one up too? Okay, um, Lorenzo's Oil. Oh, yay! This is actually one with the green lid and green reels. Ain't that a treat. 18th week of 1993. The last debate. Nineteen fifty thousand two. A movie with James Belushi called Royce. Oh, it's a demo tape, but it's got a blockbuster sticker. Seems a little fishy, doesn't it? Hang on, I want to get the light in my room real quick. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, it seems we got a blockbuster date, April eight thousand two, which is printed twice for some reason. Looks dirt. It looks dirty, but doesn't look like there's any mold. <clears throat> this one is Joan of Arc, parts one and two from Alliance Atlantis. Hmm. I don't see any print date or code on these. Oh dear, I got cats. The good one. Or weird one, depending on how you look at it. Let's fully go around. The Crossing Guard with Jack Nicholson and Angelica Houston, directed by Sean Penn, no less. Oh, well, there's a little fell off. March 10th, 1996. Ooh. 
Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. George Clooney's rectorial debut. And I have it here on demo tape. June 18th and June 28th, 2003. All right. All right, so we only got like, um, let, me, let me do the math real quick. Yeah, like roughly like, yeah, about like 32 tapes left. I do a tall tale here. I'm gonna go a little faster because I gotta go to. I'm gonna have to go to bed pretty soon. June 6th, 1975. Oh, I got a time code demo, but the case is unfortunately completely come undone. The glue has been completely undone here. So I'm gonna have to tape that back on. Tape looks clean though. Except for that. Twenty-nine fifty thousand for this one. Oh the oh the glue on this one's come undone too. Oh no, never mind. Um, this one is a double feature demo tape of the maddening and at first sight. Hang on. Excuse me. Oh, well, it actually opens up on both sides. Let's see if we can. There's the maddening right here, and there's that first set right here. I don't think I'm doing this presentation enough. Just as mm. Mold. Oh, well. Nope. Put this one in the clean pile. <laughs> I'm just so weary now every time I get I get bold with my tapes because I've had to deal with some really awful ones. Silent Trigger. June 6th, 1997. Got a little bit of bold on this one, but it should be... Too, shouldn't be too hard to clean. All right. She's so lovely. December 8th, 97. Oops, I'm putting that in the wrong pile. Oh, here's an interesting one, kind of like the demo tape of demo of Batman. Casper, not for sale or rental. Covenant of Pepsi this time. It's even gone on the label too. Look at that. Thirty fifth, thirty nine, ninety five. Is that? Could this have watched the death at the end? I might need to go check. Let's see. I got a copy of Simon Birch Academy Scream, but this time this one actually has the case. October 30th, that's Sunday 8th for this one. Uh, oh dear, this one's got mold on it, so I actually might have to swap the tape out of my old copy. And it's, or actually on second thought, look at that. Uh, yeah, no wonder they put a dark stick label over this one. So I'm just have to clean that off. But hey, that's. So when? Maybe I'll have to swap the reels or something. We'll we'll see. 
This one is Tom and Vive. Viv. I can't pronounce that. Crucify me in the comments. What a box. February 22nd, 1995. Okay, that looks clean. All right. That night. The was 24th, 1993. All right. Oh, I've got a two tape demo here of Les Miserables from 1995. That looks clean. That looks clean too. Cool. Sweet. March 9th, 1996, we're both tapes. Good. And we're good. Okay. Good thing they actually say which parts it is. All right. Only two more stacks to go. Beethoven second. Ah, oh, man. It's got a bowl on this one, too. It's bullshit. Okay, 15th week of night, 94. <laughs> Slam Dunk Ernest on demo tape. That one looks clean. All right, April 4th, 1995. Oops, I'm going to the wrong pile. Oh, Rain Man demo tape. No more, no more, no more, no more. Woohoo, no mold. I guess that says the 124th day, 1989. Oh my god, Renaissance, man. August 14th, October 13th, 1974. Wait, wasn't this Mark Wahlberg's debut movie? I think it was. Oh, okay. The uh, FYC copy at the Sixth Sense here. Ah, oh, not again. Oh, this one's also caked in mold. November 12th, 1999. All right, well, that's going to get cleaned. Oh, okay. Uh, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves demo tape here. Well, it's actually an in store promo reel, but. Oh, the label's gone. Uh, August 28th and August 29th, 1991. Does this actually have the movie on it? I might need to go check. Anyway. Oh, here's a good one. My Cousin Vinny demo tape. It's an EP mo too. 29th of 1992. Mind Warp, whatever this movie is, but it's a Fangoria film, so 
This could be interesting. On May 5th, 1992, my fellow Americans, I look so dead right now. Probably because I'm filming this at 11, in the, 11 at night. March 31st, 1997. But we're almost to the end here. We got just a couple more. Let me count. Oh, just 11 more tapes. Okay. My Father, the Hero. March 26, 1994. No day and year code. Just interesting for this kind of tape show. Yeah, okay. Mad Love. 15 million box office. That's not very impressive. Oh, this one's got a little bit of more in it, too. March... March 19th, that's any wait. Wait, when this movie come out? Hang on. It looks like an eight, but it could be a three. Um, hang on. Okay, August 16th, that uh, August 19th, that's 95. Yeah, I gotta get, I get some more off that too. Let's see. Another two tape demo here. It's the theatrical cut of JFK. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Man, both of them have mold. Oh, oh man. April 8th, April 9th, that's how you for part one, and April 8th, that's how two, twice for part two. Oh, man, it's got mold. Oh. All right, well. I kind of died inside a little just now. All right, well, I'll clean that up. And a demo of Captain Ron here. Yeah, why is this clean, but JFK's not? I'm just asking. November 29th, November 30th, 1992. Okay. Got a cold heaven here. July twenty fourth, nineteen ninety two. I got a better swingers demo tape. My old one was in, was starting to wear out. That, that old one might go up on eBay now. February 18th, 1997. All right, well, time to crack this open. Let's get all that shrink up off. Dog A demo tape. Uh, that case is dirty. Don't have very good feelings about this one. Huh. No mold. Sweet. 51st week in 1994. It's dirty. So this case is dirty. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Uh, okay, four tapes left for this video, and then I'm just gonna go straight to bed. Stalking Danger. Also from Vidmark. Oh, you've got to be kidding.
That's probably the worst one so far next to Dracula. Look at that. Oh, Lord, no. That's even got the recording tab on it intact. Damn. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'll try to clean it, but if this breaks, I'm not keeping it. All right, got Snow Day. June 26,000 and June 27,000. It's actually, yeah, isn't that weird seeing an orange tape with that kind of print date? Let alone a week in year code with it, too. 27th week is 2000. Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, I got two tapes left. I can finally move this out of the way. Silkwood from Embassy. Boom. May 10th, 1984. Ugh, ugh, God, this thing stinks. That smells like some alcoholic had this tape for a long time. Eh, whatever. All right, well, the last tape for this video until next time, I guess, is a... Okay, it comes in a touchstone case, right? Tape inside is actually shipwrecked from Walt Disney Home Video. Oh, wow, this one's also has over 50 million box office. Ah, oh, no, not again. April 8th, 1971. All right, well, all right, well, that wraps up this series of videos of me opening up two of VHS Fan's boxes. VHS Fan, and once again, for watching this, I really appreciate you giving these, putting up these care packages for me, and I really appreciate all the hard work you did bringing this community together. And yeah, so let me just let me just uh, wrap it up with a couple things before I leave. Um, I still gotta clean the mold off of these. I still gotta do that. But the other tapes that so those being Karate Kid. Liana, Rebecca, Gremlins, and Out of Time, those cleaned off just fine. But yeah, I gotta clean these up, so I'm gonna put that in the two clean pile. I still need to fix Dracula, so that's gonna go in its own separate pile. Um, and yeah, and yeah, hang on, let me just get these up. So yeah, these are all the ones in the second box I gotta clean. Um, hopefully these go well. Um, they've gone pretty good so far with the exception of Dracula breaking on me, but, um, yeah. So, let's see. That rounds it up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 tapes to clean up, 21 if you count this being a two-tape set, and 22 if you want to count Dracula. So, yeah, basically I got 20 tapes to clean. So, we'll see how this goes, and I'll keep you all posted, and hopefully we can get this uh, eradicated. But nevertheless, thanks to all of you for staying up this late and tuning in, and I hope to catch you all next time. Take care, guys.